My pain feels like a knife is stabbing me in and out. It, it can happen anywhere in my body, so it's kind of painful. Tamara needs regular blood transfusions to stay healthy. I'm 13 years old and I have sickle cell anemia. The genetic disease causes some of her red blood cells to be C-shaped instead of round. The sickled cells can also block blood flow, leading to a pain crisis. It's the same kind of pain that people have when they have a heart attack. Tamaya experiences pain crises every other month. To watching her go from that energetic child to not moving at all, pale, um, not unresponsive sometimes because she's in so much pain, her hemoglobin levels drop and she's not the Tamaya that I'm used to seeing and knowing. To stop the pain crisis, Tamaya receives blood transfusions. They are actually hooked up to a machine which removes their damaged cells and replaces the damaged cells with normal red blood cells. I get blood transfusions to help me be a kid again because without the blood transfusions, I would not be here right now. Like, I would be very miserable, sad, weak. And when I get the blood transfusion, I just feel stronger, happier. I can be for my family. I could just be me again, and it feels, it feels pretty great when I get blood transfusions. But the blood she so desperately needs is not always available. Once, Tamaya said she was in the hospital for eight or 10 hours before they were able to find blood that was a close match. I was just like, Mom, we gotta do something. Just please let the doctor come in here and say we have my blood. It took like 10, eight hours, and I was just sitting there crying, bawling my eyes out. And soon as the doctor came in and say we have the blood, I just started praising the God and just crying and hold, holding my mom's hand because it felt special that they found my blood. That's like 10 whole hours of fear, hurt, pain, and there's nothing that you can do yourself. It hurts me as a parent. Dr. Miller says that's why it's so important that people of all backgrounds and blood types donate blood. Our blood supply needs to reflect the patient population, which is diverse. A single unit of blood can be divided into three different components, red cell, platelets, and plasma, and those products can save three different lives. It's especially important to donate blood in January and February, when there's normally a critical blood shortage. When there's natural disasters, when there's situations such as mass shootings, trauma, accidents, we have to have a steady supply of blood on the shelf to deal with those kinds of situations. To find out more about donating blood, visit redcrossblood.org. It's important for me to people to donate blood because they're giving me a life. They are a superhero for me and other children out there. So they saved my life and I thank them. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Johanna Lee.